Hi, good afternoon, everybody. This is homework help for October 28th, uh, Tuesday. So we're continuing to work with in and out tables. So I am going to pick the second table on the top to work on first. It says figure out the rule for each table below. Write the answer on the line. So you're going to write your answer right down here on the line. So we have to figure out what the rule is. And I'm picking this one here in the middle because it's working with decimals. And I want you to know you can work on this problem just like you would work on a number without decimals. And let's see if that helps us a little bit, okay? So if three goes in and 1.8 comes out, we have our input, which is three, and our output, which is 1.8. And the number we're missing is, let's do r as our variable. Three times what gets us, 0.3 times what gets us 1.8. Think about it without the decimal points, all right? Pretend I've crossed this off and this off. Three times what gets me 18? All right, three times six. Let's see if that works for the next one or if we are doing something different. So our first guess is going to be six, okay? 0 0.3 times six. Let's see if that works. What is the difference between 1.8 and 2.7? 2.7 minus 1.8 gets us nine, okay. So let's see if we do 1.2 times six, we get 12, six. Hmm, you know what? This is not multiplication. My rule does not work. So we have to think again. I did multiplication here because I saw a connection between three and 18, but that's not working. So now I need to look at a difference. This number is going up. So now I have to figure out how much is it going up. Let me go over here and I'm gonna take 1.8 minus 0.3. And that is gonna get me 1.5. Hmm, okay. So maybe my problem is an addition problem, not a subtraction problem. I'm gonna use a scrap piece of paper and see if that is the case. Let's take a look. So right now my new estimate is that 0 0.3 plus 1.5 equals 1.8. Now our next problem is 1.2 plus 1.5. So I can just line those up over here, work with them just like they're regular numbers, just make sure the decimal point is lined up. Five plus two is seven and one plus one is two. That checks out, all right? So now I know my rule is plus, 1.5, okay, plus 1.5 or add 1.5. All right, see how even my thinking didn't work out? I tried multiplying and that didn't give me, that gave me this answer, but when I tried it with the second one, it didn't work. So then I had to go and revise my thinking, okay? We're gonna move on to, the fractions one on the bottom here. All right. If I put one tenth in and I get four tenths out, how is it changing? Is the one getting bigger or smaller? We're going to look at our numerator, the number on the top, and I see that this is getting bigger, all right? So I am thinking one, two, three, four. I am thinking we are adding three tenths. That's gonna be my first guess for a rule. 
plus three tenths, plus three tenths. That's going to be my first guess. So if that's the case, I'm going to say three tenths plus three tenths. What's three plus three? Three plus three is six. And we don't do anything with the tenths. We're fine there. Let's check our next rule. Six tenths plus three tenths does get me nine tenths. All right, that one checks out. Eight tenths plus three tenths does get me 11 tenths. Ooh. Now we have to do something different because we have the output, but we don't have the input. <clears throat> now, if you're in Mr. Biggs's room, he talked about the inverse relationship. So what is the inverse of addition? It is going to be subtraction. All right, so we're going to take 13 tenths and we're going to minus 3 tenths. 13 minus 3 is going to give us 10 tenths. All right, I helped you out with that. You can go ahead and work on the rest. On the bottom here, you are going to be working on x is equal to x, and you have to write plus, minus, multiplication or division. So you can think about plus, minus, multiplication or division. Okay, and figure out what this rule is. X plus something or X multiplied by something gets us the other number. All right, good luck with homework. See you tomorrow.